the spouse. We confidently and will your patronage also. Through that charity, we proud you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the fraternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood, and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. Most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven, assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
together early this Friday morning to worship our God. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mystery by calling to mind our sins, asking God for pardon, and You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The king who calls sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. To lead us all into the kingdom of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to build those things that last forever. Through our Lord and Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Constant help. 
Rescue me out of the mire, may I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes and from the watery depths. Let not the flood waters overwhelm me, nor the abyss swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth over me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will give, and I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See your lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and His own who are in bonds, He serves not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Is not his mother Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every so often the Bible sometimes has seemingly contradictions in terms of ideas and what it presents to us in terms of the Word of God. And Jesus says one thing, and then there's something almost diametrically opposed. For example, part of the Gospel is a passage that says, Ask what you will, and it will be given to you. And it gives us the illusion that we are the masters, and that God is the servant. And we need to continually remember our role that God is creator and master, and we are the servants, and that all our prayer, for as much as we want whatever we want, that it is always, always according to the will of the Lord. Amen. You, know, you hear sometimes people say, well, you know, I prayed for my grandmother. She had cancer, and she survived the cancer, and the prayer worked. It was nice that she survived, and the prayer was that you wanted healing for her. Yes. But what if she died? The prayer still worked because the will of God says this was time for your grandmother. 
and the good God knows what's best for each of us. Even though sometimes it confounds us, it totally confuses us. Why a two-year-old baby can die of some disease, and somebody can live to be 102 years old. Who knows? Um, I think I keep using the phrase these days, and I use it a lot. Only God knows. And he's not telling us right now. But wait a little while, and he will. So in this reading of the gospel today, he did not work mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. Faith is not the belief that when I pray, I always get what I want. Faith is the belief that God knows best and that he will give and take as he sees fit, as he pleases. That's the faith in the conviction that at the end of time, all things will work for good for those who love God. That's what faith is.
sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. That through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it is truly right and just that we should give you thanks and praise, O God, Almighty Father, for all you do in this world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For though the human race is divided by dissension and discord, we know that you test. By testing us, you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. So now that the angels and saints with all the angelic hosts, we praise you as in one voice we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, have been and earth our full of your glory, O Son of your glories. The rest is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the good one, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into the passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the rest of our salvation. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence as ministers of you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, Larry, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, Blessed St. Damien, St. Marianne, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to you and they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, and with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now the Savior's command is performed by the divine teaching. We did the same.
have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son, grant we pray that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your May the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. My friends, our Mass is ended. Go now and proclaim the kingdom of God. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Thank you, God.